Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FE6 Hard Mode, Armors Only. In this one we take on Chapter 20X, which is very fun, because you break walls and not much else. At least all the walls have 40 HP. Uh, typically walls in this game have 100, and that would take a year to break. I mean, you do have Eclipse, but uh, I can't use that, so I am thankful. Its walls have 40 HP. But yeah, there's just pockets of enemies inside walls. Um, none of them are especially difficult. I mean, some of the warriors have, like, capped strength and, uh, 60 HP, but... They're not very threatening, because they have hammers, they can't hit anything. Even if they did hit, they wouldn't even two-round KO boars, because boars is broken. And also, hammers are awful in this game. There's also two druids with status staves. Uh, nothing unexpected. If anything, I'd have expected more druids with status staves in this map, but there are only two, and they don't have siege tomes either. It's crazy. This map's a pretty short one. It's just break through a couple layers of walls, kill small handfuls of enemies, and then the map's basically open. You get to the generic general boss named Tick. Because that's a kid's name. I want to name my kid Tick. I'm sure he'd love that. Look at that. I think, yep, B axes for Wendy. So she can use the Brave Axe. Whoop. I'm going to try and build that Saul Ellen support, but uh, <laughs> I don't think they're ever getting to B. Ever, because that support is so slow. Yeah, your group is split up into three. Uh, the one main group to the south, and then two smaller groups to the left and right. Um, you can just ignore the two other groups. They don't really need to do anything. I mean, they can kill enemies and get EXP. So in this run, only one I'm having kill anything is Douglas. And I want the uh, Ostian trio together, because they support each other. Supports are the only way to make them all really accurate, so obviously I want them together. And also it's just easier to power through one group than it is to just, for some reason, split all your strong units apart. Could do that, but why would you? Sounds kind of pointless to me. Unless you're, like, really hurting for XP. I don't think you are. I mean, maybe you are. I don't know. But yeah, with supports, boards actually hits everything. Crazy. And at the end of this chapter, we're gonna get the Malta. Which is an accurate lance. It has, like, 90 hit effectively, because it has plus 5 skill on it. That's cool. It'll also just kill all the uh, wyverns next chapter, so that's also cool. Next chapter, depending on how I go about it, it's either going to be long or it's going to be short. I'm thinking it's probably going to be long because I do want to visit that secret shop. So, who knows? This map's just a bunch of archers and shamans and warriors and nothing scary. Even the boss isn't scary. It's just a general on a throne. This game loves bosses that are generals. Probably the most common boss type is just knights and generals. I think there's at least like ten game for some reason. I guess it makes some sense to have a bulky armor knight defend a seize point, but why? Class is just awful. I mean, the best class in the game. That's why the best unit in the game, Boars, is a general. It's, it's the best class in the game. Could have been a paladin if he wanted to, but, uh, mate, gotta be 
be an armor knight. Douglas is just gonna be Jay chilling over there. Killing like three enemies, maybe two enemies over the course of this whole map because he doesn't double anything. But we did give him the speed wing so that Wyvern Lords don't double him next map. That's a little important to not be doubled by those. I think the average one has 15 speed, so with his previous 11, be doubled by basically every enemy. And now, basically every enemy should not double him. While well, FE6 has decently high enemy quality, enemies typically aren't super fast, and that's one saving grace, is that you can have very middling speed of like 13, and most enemies won't double you. So that is nice. I mean, obviously Swordmasters and Heroes and Myrmidons will double you. I mean, those typically don't hit like trucks, so it's not really a big deal. Also, nice miss boards. Even with support bonuses, you can still miss. Arth made up for it with that crit, though. Still hasn't leveled res, so he's as good as useless. I mean, come on, Barth. At least most magic enemies are slow, so... Barth doesn't get doubled by anything that would be scary to him. But yeah, really, this map is just filler. Like a lot of Gaiden chapters, they're, they're pointless gimmicks that add nothing to the map. And are easily trivialized. If I wanted to, I could have just warp skipped this map. It's not particularly difficult to. But, uh... I mean, warp skipping this map would just... This map isn't a long Gaiden chapter, even if you don't warp skip it. Some, like, 14x are just a major pain. So, of course you're gonna warp skip it, though. This map, it's easy, so no point. I don't feel a need to warp skip it. Now Douglas will do a random archer for that 5 EXP for hit per hit. I guess this is just good staff EXP for Ray. I doubt he'll ever hit C staves, but if he does, that'd be neat. Because then he could use actual useful staves. Oh no, a longbow sniper. Dealing 4 damage to my squishiest general. Enemies sure are scary in this game. Gonna set up a sick triangle attack with Barth. So he can hit with that axe of his. EOP. Also got to see axes, so he can use killer axes. Yay. as well just kill this archer. Then we'll dance for boars, send him to the boss, and that'll be the chapter. But 
Douglas gets kind of wrecked by random Flux Shaman, but thankfully he has a pocket ray. Then Boris will just absolutely shred this guy. We may as well chip him first. I feel bad for Tick. First off, he was named Tick by parents who clearly didn't love him. Secondly, he was just left to guard walls and just wait for his death. What a sad, pitiful existence he lived. Much like the creature he was named after. But yeah, I think we're just gonna dance. Uh... Elfin's last level up, which will be great, surely. Yep, just HP. So yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll join me for the next one, where we take on Chapter 21. Peace out.